Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is the CCM Axis Chest Protector Initial Review Overview Tech Display thing. Um, so this is not my chest protector, so I don't get to use it, but people did like the content I made with the Warrior and with the Optic, so we're going to do this one. This is the previous version, which was the Premier um, LE, which was basically a Premier with different graphics. Um, so this... Um, I'll compare this, these two, in a separate video. I don't know why, basically everything's different. But I'll compare them in a separate video. Um, so check that out if you're interested in it. This one will just be this one. Um, so, I was extremely critical about CCM in the past. Specifically when the Eflex 4 came out, but kind of with the Premiere 2 as well. Um, I didn't think they were making any changes with things and they are kind of stick, sticking status quo and they are lagging behind everyone. Recently CCM broke up with the Ferv. Axis is the first line that they broke up with the first. I always thought CCM had a lot of opportunity to use a lot of different tech in their from a player gear into their goalie stuff, and they kind of ignored it. This is a step in the right direction. Um, I'm pretty impressed with this chest protector. I don't know what the protection is like on it, because obviously I can't wear it. But it is so radically different than the previous one that they deserve huge credit for it, and I wanted to go over it. Everything you can kind of see is massively different from the, how it straps, just to how it wears, all the shapes. It obviously is a more streamlined one for the shoulders, like the new NHL specs. I do not think this is anywhere close to NHL specs, but I don't know. Um, but it is pretty interesting in terms of how, like it is, the shoulder floaters are a bit smaller than the old one. The arms are totally different. This is all very, very different, as you can see. It's all honestly pretty impressive. So let's dive into it. Um, the foams down here are massive and okay actually first before that i think this looks like an actual like quality piece of equipment where the previous one ccm chest and pants i always felt kind of felt like cheap i think ccm did a really good job here using that kind of this material um like it using all this stuff and the whole new material on the arms even it's just speed skin but i mean i think they did a really good job of making this feel better than the previous one and it, it's a lot nicer when you're wearing it so i gotta give him huge props for that um now this is this little piece right here is hiding the coolest thing about this chest which i'll show you on the other side so this is all one the plate here is all kind of one piece right here above so it's giving kind of more padding than just a normal heart guard would it's kind of all going down there when you still have your floaters for right there you have really good side wrap. Um, I found this to be a little long, to be totally honest. It got in the way of my jock. I would have liked this to be Velcroable to remove it. It's not, um, but I mean, it is what it is. Good side protection. I think these are to hook in the pants. There's to hook into your pants as well. So good side protection there. Floaters are adjustable on the back. We'll show it on the back, I guess. You do have these arm kind of cuffs. This is kind of similar to the optic design, covering that gap right there as well like it's a it's a good design optic covers up a lot of space with it um so it's decent there arm adjustability you have your velcro here i think they do a pretty good job of this because it sticks like this sticks right on the actual chest itself um, my kineski has a loop so when you actually do it it comes away from the chest so you can't pull it as tight as say this one because this one holds in place that's a pretty good design right there i always think this is a better design than the lacing ones because it's more adjustable um, so I'm a fan of that. You can see the arm protection is you have like that new arm design block, but you also have it segmented there. So that's all really nice. I think that's about it from the front view. Actually, I guess I should talk about this. So this is like the material that's on the knee blocks um, of their pads now. And the orange is the D3O foam. Um, it's supposed to be like a high impact. It, and it, it changes its stick or hard. It, it changes how hard it is based on the impact that it receives. So if it's a softer impact, it's softer. If it's harder, it gets harder. So it, the impact deadens, they drop a, a, like a steel ball on it and you can see it. Um, it's nice that it's there for extra protection and an added piece. It's not cheap, so that's always good to see when they don't cheapen out. Here is what makes this awesome. But I'm gonna tease it for a bit. So, uh, the adjustment on the shoulders, as you can see, very similar to the other one. You have your wing adjustment and your chest height. Um, yeah, it's pretty standard. I left it at like the smallest it could go basically without overriding anything. It's 
kind of where I'm trying to go for when you do that. Um, arm, so Velcro on the side is this great, just one piece and that's it. Um, my one complaint is, so, but I, obviously you can easily adjust these. So if you do it like this, this gets caught on things, but I mean, just do it this way and then adjust this. The thing I want to give CCM huge credit for again is their straps have this nice like rubber feel to them. Just going a little bit above and beyond what they had to do to make this feel nice. I like attention to detail like that. Um, okay, I guess we will get to the awesome part and that is this chest piece. So this is obviously a gusset and the point of this is so the chest can move independently of each other and kind of float. Now this is design that has been on player gear for a very long time. So basically player chests have a like a heart guard that's hard, it's similar to this, that kind of goes off the front. And usually it was just like one thing down and it would have two pieces on the side that could kind of move like that. So when your arms move back and forth, this would move and it wouldn't restrict you. That's what this does. CCM, this is awesome. I haven't seen this on a chest before. If it has been, let me know. I haven't seen this before. I'm really curious how protective this is. It, in my opinion, it should be fine because you do have your padding here, which is there's the floaters covering this as well. And then you have your heart piece here. But because you have this padding, there should be a gap between, as you can see my finger kind of going in there. So there should be a gap between the heart piece and this. That is awesome. Like I am really impressed. Just like the Axis helmet, I'm really impressed at what CCM did here. So I have to give them huge props for that because I really like that design. And um, good job, CC. Like that is honestly, honestly, super impressive to me. They did something different. Huge fan of it. There it is. Um, I guess that's about it for this view. Oh, side protection is solid. I'll do a different view to kind of show that off. The new arm. Um, so this takes part of the shield design. So shield kind of has this piece over, like it's kind of floating, right? So you have your arm here, it goes inside, then you have this kind of floating piece on both. Similar, I think it's kind of similar to the shield. Um, I don't know if this is new or not compared to the shield as well. It's totally new compared to the Premiere. Different video for that. Um, but yeah, so that's how that is. Obviously there's your arm adjustment. Okay, the elbow is awesome. The elbow is basically a player elbow pad. And I like when companies do this. Um, that's basically exactly a player elbow pad. Just all kind of looped in there. You can adjust it a ton. You have your adjustments like even down here for the act. So this is for the actual strap that your arm goes into. This is for how tight you want it on the arm itself. These are for the, the wings, so you can tighten the wings. Um, again, this is just kind of where everything holds into place. And then the coolest part about this, well one, I like the hexi print, and I kind of like this design. The coolest part about this chest is there's no Velcro, like a Velcro tie to tighten your wrist, it's this. So you have this neoprene, like spandex-like sleeve, and it just goes like that. And it just Velcros in place. And that's it. And that's how like you can adjust it. I didn't even need to adjust that when I put my arm in. Um, so I guess I can do that now. Make sure it's the right arm. So you just put it in. Elbow blocks in the right spot. Don't even have to adjust that. And it feels nice and snug because it's kind of like a stretchy material. Again, CCM. Genius. I love it. So this arm, yeah, we'll do a, a thing of it. But there's the arm basically right there. I love, like CCM is doing awesome things with this and I gotta give them credit for it. I haven't seen this before. I'm really curious to see what's on the uh, Ultrasonics because it does kind of look like next gen -y, kind of like this, but this is awesome. And again, huge props to CCM. So this is the look of the Axis chest um, for the arms and the gloves. So one thing that I want to point out is I mentioned how this is a plate over a gap. Um, so when you, I thought, I, I can't really tell if it's doing anything, to be honest. I like the idea, um, but when I go like this, I can't really tell if it's if it's moving at all. Um, it doesn't feel any different than a normal chest, to be totally honest. I like, like I said, again, I like the idea, but I feel like the anchor points for this is kind of like stopping it from really doing anything, or maybe it is, and this would be way stiffer if it wasn't. This does feel way better than the Premier. Um, so it could be that. I mean, I can move pretty well in it. It's pretty decent. Um, so yeah, I'm really curious about that. I don't know if that is 
like really doing a lot. I mean, I can do this really easily. So maybe it is helping, but it doesn't feel like the whole thing is moving like I thought it would. So maybe it's just small adjustments. Um, protection, I don't know, can't, not taking shots with this. Um, but everything, the foam seemed pretty substantial all the way around. This is too long. This was getting in the way of my jock. So I wish this was Velcroable so I could pull it out. Um, so this is a large, don't go by my sizing. I'm never answering questions on sizing. Measure yourself and follow whatever. I know what size I am. I can't, people ask me that. But yeah, so everything feels really good. The arms feel decent or good. The side protection is solid. Everything is there really good. Um, again, this is all pretty solid. There is that gap between this and like anything behind you. So you can kind of feel that gap. Not a pain, but like you can tell there's a gap. Arm mobility is pretty good. It's not like, I don't know if it's optic too good. It's definitely not warrior good. But it's pretty good. I got to give him props for it. Way better than Premier. Way different arms. I love the spandex thing. It's just a nice feel. Um, shoulder mobility. These do get in the way. You can kind of see the difference between this really and the optic. It feels like the optic moves up with your shoulders. This one doesn't. Um, but I can touch my head fine if I do that. It's just when you go like this, these pieces kind of get in the way. Like these little caps. But everything else is fine. I will put on gloves. And we'll do the glove test. So I'm using the optic for everything because I use it for everything else. Um, like zero interference at all. You can see how deep they go. Pretty decent. Zero interference at all. Um, like unless you really try to get in the way of the cuff, which you'll never do. So everything's really good there. So huge props to CCM on that. I'm pretty impressed with this. It's a huge step in the right direction. Um, so that's it for this video on the chest protector. I have videos on, like I said, helmet, pads, gloves, blocker catcher um, of this out there as well as on Instagram. So check them out. Uh, I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully it was helpful. If you have questions, let me know. Leave a comment. Uh, like this video. Remember to subscribe to me on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Links are in the description. If you ever buy a piece of gear because of all my videos, please reach out to your manufacturer. Let them know. Uh, helps me get on their radar so I can do videos like this and hopefully one day test this stuff out instead of just doing these videos because I can't wear it. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching and take it easy.